Hi there, I thought I'd do a scammer video. Some people have asked me if I'd do one. Um, I have a few on the go of these people that are trying to uh, whisk me off or whisk over here with my money. Uh, this one's name's Chidra, he's from Nigeria. He looks about 12 and obviously very interested in a 91 year old called Ethel. Anyway, this is how it went. He goes, hello, free spirit. Uh, I said, hi there. He said, how are you doing today? I said, good, good, good. He said, I'm Chidra by name, and you? I said, Ethel. He said, it's nice meeting you, Ethel. Where are you from? I said, out of Mongolia. He said, it's nice meeting you once again. How was your day today? I said, good, thanks. Where are you from? Guess what? Nigeria. I hope your day was good. That's good. Yes, my day was good, thank you. You're welcome. So uh, he said, have you eaten? It's a bit strange, wasn't it? I said, no, have you? He said, yes, I just got back from work. Are you working now? I said, yes. Okay, he said, have you eaten lunch? I said, yes, I have. What did you eat? He said, I've just finished my lunch now. I said, lobster and crabs. He put a little heart on that. He said, I had rice. Poor bugger, he only had rice. I hope you enjoyed it. I said, yeah, I loved it. He said, are you still at work? Well, do is my occupation, and what about you? It's like you are busy. Obviously, didn't answer him straight away. So he asked what my occupation was. I said, a pole dancer, instructor, and a pimp. He said, how many hours do you work a day? I said, 25. He said, okay. Are you single, married, widowed, divorced, or separated? I said, yes. He said, which one? I said, I've been all of them. He said, for me, I am single and alone. I said, sorry to hear that. He said, what happened? I said, with what? He said, you don't have to be sorry. It's not your fault. He said, to your husband. I said, I poisoned him. He said, what did he do? I said, nothing. That's why I poisoned him. He said, I'm scared now because I don't know if you will poison me too. <laughs> you don't love him? I said, I run out of poison, so you're okay. Not anymore, no. Are you sure you have run out of poison? He said. <laughs> I said, yeah, all gone. I have an axe though. He said, okay. What do you like and dislike? I said, I like sex. He, he said, how old are you? I said, 91. I said, how old are you? He said, I love who make me happy. I haven't been in true love before. I'm 28. I said, that's good. Oh, really? Do age or distance between matter to you? No, not at all, if you're 28, really, and I'm 91. I said, no, not at all. He said, same here. The question is, will you love me? I said, of course, I love everyone. He said, it's not about loving everyone. I am a man with a soft heart, loving, caring, honest, compassionate and affectionate. I also believe in God. If you do, why are you scanning me? I said, that's good. He said, I like a very understanding life and I'm easy to talk to. I'm dependable and loyal and I respect women a lot. That's good too, good to hear. What kind of a man are you looking for, he said, because I strongly believe trust and understanding the key to every relationship. I said, a strong young toy boy, absolutely. Are you shy of the jealous type, he said. I went, no. He said, same here. I said, goody goody gumdrops. He said, I don't used to be shy that I'm a jealous lover. Are you a romantic type? If you turn out to be my dream woman, which I'm sure I will do, giving you breakfast in bed is such a romantic thing to do. I will buy a cheap platter from the thrift store. Nice. Push the boat out, mate. Or I could just use a baking sheet with fabric draped over it. I will make your favourite breakfast before you wake with orange juice and coffee. How does he know that's my favourite breakfast? I will place a couple of tea light candles next to your nightstand. Obviously from the cheap store as well. They are very cheap. Oh, they're very cheap and light. I will then place a rose head of other flower head onto a small container or glass and place it in the platter. Then open the curtains and then wake you up. Oh, that's sweet. Do you believe in God and how often do you go to church? I went, that's good. It's, that's good that it's cheap to please me. I said, I'm a God loving person, always at the church, bring and buy sales. Okay, I love God so much. I love God with all my heart and trust in him to comfort and guide me. Only him knows what he has in store for us. 
but haven't got much in the last few months. Do you love music and any favourites? I said, I love Enigma. He said, I love hip-hop. Hip-hop. I had it. I said, <laughs> I don't believe I said this. I said, I had a new hip and now I hop. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at my own jokes here. <laughs> that is too. The songs I listen to will usually tell you what kind of mood I'm in or tell you what's in, in my heart when words can't begin to describe who I am. When I'm happy, you'll usually find me singing and I love listening to the romantic music of the 80s music. What kind of sport do you like best? I said, mud wrestling. He said, I like football, shooting, um, baskets, playing volleyball and a few other baseball games also. I said, I like shooting men. He said, what makes you smile and happy? I said, chocolate and lesbians. He said, well, for me, what makes me smile is very easy. What makes me smile is seeing those I love smiling and knowing I put that smile on their faces and when I have a woman who treats me like a king, it makes me happy. You just know they copy and paste, don't you? I said, I actually like lesbians dipped in chocolate. He said, wow. I said, do you like lesbians? He said, I love what makes you happy. I said, that's good. He said, I've not been in love before, but as long as I love you, I don't care. All I want is your happiness. I said, how can you love me when you haven't met me? Are we going to meet? He said, I would be your shadow. I would shadow, I would be your shadow, you. And when you are tired, I would lay you down. When you are hungry, I would feed you. When you are sad, I would put a smile on your face. I would encourage you in your hopes and dreams. Oh. I said, you're going to get a flight to come and see me then? He said, yes, I know, but you are dying. You are giving me the attention I love. I said, at 91, I don't have many hopes or dreams. It don't take much then. He said, I will be by your side with you the remaining time ahead. Yeah, I bet, until he can fiddle my money. While you're in the shower or bath, I would take your towel and pop it in the dryer for a few minutes. Then I would greet you when you get out of the shower with a toasty towel. Watch the appreciation and amazement in your face. I said, I haven't got long, you better get here quick. I'm slipping away. He said, how do you treat your man? I said, that would be amazing as I, can, I can't walk and I don't wash anymore. How do you treat your man? I put badly. You mean you treat me badly? Maybe. I have schizophrenic traits, I said. Although every relationship has its ups and downs, I would treat my woman with lots of love and respect. I like to hold her hand while walking side by side. I enjoy the little kisses stolen throughout the day. The little smiles that gives me across the room. I believe a man and a woman are to walk side by side in life and also communication is honesty very very important my women is a woman of god and because of the reason alone i will not have to worry about her treating me badly or cheating on me i tend to be completely faithful to her and will support during our lives together i said so you're going to get a flight to see me then he said if you make me a visa i will come yeah right but you can come to Nigeria if you can. I said, are you able to push my wheelchair and change my incontinence pads? I dribble quite a bit. I'm blind, deaf and unstable. Understandably for a 91 year old. Yes, my queen, he said. OK, I'll come to Nigeria. Are you able to send me the flight money and meet me with a wheelchair? He said, I will take care of you. I said, so I need a thousand pounds. That's so kind of you. Shall I send you my bank details? If you send me a further thousand, I will get you a visa. You know here in Nigeria, I'm not rich, but if I had the money, I would send it. Of course you would. I said, oh, that's a shame, so we'll never meet. He said, I wish I had the money. I will. I said, I only have my pension now. Do you have WhatsApp? I said, can you walk to me? It's not far. I might still be alive when you get here. WhatsApp? No, I don't. You want to send me dirty pictures? He said, download it. I said, I can send you some of me. So masterful, I love it. Why can't we talk on here? Because I want to call on video and send pictures. I said, but I'm blind, there's no point. Anyway, we're going to have to go on part two now because I've run out of time. So, catch you on part two.